All right, so here we're gonna prepare for gluing the Monarch Chrysalis to paper towels. And I've done this because the Chrysalis, they attached in weird places outside and that does not ensure their survival. And so uh, I learned this trick about the paper towels from, it was Mr. Lund Science, also on YouTube. I modified it a little bit. And so, here we go. What I do is I definitely glue the darkest ones first. And also, if you ever need to pull down a chrysalis when you're pulling it off, pull it from evenly with at least three fingers. Otherwise, the top will open and expose the gooiness inside. So always pull down with three fingers. And if you can't get a good grip with the three fingers, uh, I get little tiny baby scissors and cut off at, at the web there. So, angle them here. So I'll do the darkest ones first because I know that they definitely need to be glued sooner rather than later. They're, they're tightly spun to protect from wind and the main reason I think is also they need a counterweight when they're going to pull themselves out of the chrysalis their butt gets stuck if they don't have a counterweight if they're just floating like this and they're not attached to something I've seen a few not fully pull themselves out of the chrysalis, get stuck, and then what happens is they don't form all the way. They can't get fully vertical. Their wings get damaged. They don't fully form the right angle, all of that. And so it's really important that they have that counterweight which is why I glue them. And I've learned they just need a little bit of space in order to come out, not bump into each other, which is also why I hang material. Do -do -do. Put the rest of these and glue them next time. The material I'll hang in the cage for them to hold on to is this burlap. I like green because it matches. Okay, so here we have them evenly spaced and angled so that the tip is on the paper towel and the body of the chrysalis is below. Then I take my glue and I use, I use uh, Gorilla Glue, it seems to work and doesn't seem to harm the chrysalis. Uh, and then when I'm done, I always squeeze all the air out so that the glue doesn't dry out. So what I do is I do a dollop near it. Do, do, do. And then in a minute, I will Touch it so it's touching and I try not to get the glue 
on the body of the chrysalis. Chrysalis is porous because it absorbs moisture from the outside air. And so when you bring in a chrysalis from the outside and keep it inside, I learned this the hard way, you need to spray it with a water bottle and keep it moisturized. Otherwise they get dehydrated. So squeeze the air out like this. All right, then I take a toothpick It's okay if the glue, if they're all touching, everyone you can cut right through these with uh, scissors. You can cut through the glue. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that it's just touching the black tip. And that it that it's settled. And so I try not to get glue on the body because I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, if any glue would be absorbed. I haven't had any problems with this method as far as their wings being stuck together or I know this isn't the intentional, the initial intention of this glue, and it seems to work best. I tried a lot of glues that didn't work as well. And this glue, it sort of bubbles up and grows. So I leave it some space to grow. So like that, I got a little, a little too much glue on the body. So I'll just wipe it off, just in case. Sometimes glue does touch the body and I try to not let it if I can. And so once I've done them all, Go through her again and see if they've shifted a little bit. Add just another dollop. Make sure that they're sitting, because they'll turn on them on their own. And this seems to be the angle that works best, where the body is front and the gold rim is is halfway around. And then once we're done here, I'll hang them. I'll attach the paper towel, cut it up a little bit, and hang it on the burlap strips that I put in the cage. I just pin those in with a uh, T-pin, like these. And it seems to be the best method. The reason I do all this instead of hanging them from up high. I put them in a really low cage because maybe 90% of the time they pull out of the chrysalis and they just hang there. Every once in a while they'll fall while they're coming out. And if it's a far drop, if it's a far drop, then sometimes they don't pump the fluid. They don't pump the fluid correctly. The fluid comes from their abdomen. And once they're hanging there, they pump the fluid into their wings while they hang. You can almost see the action of them doing that. And then, something about the fluid, it hardens in their wings and then they're able to fly. bothers me it's touching the body a little bit 
it's okay though. It's not too much. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry until the glue is completely dry and then I'll hang it later.